Today, we're looking at the five best cryptocurrencies that you can buy under a dollar. And before you say, well, market cap is more important than token price. Not to the new wave of retail that's going to be coming in in 2024. And so we're going to be looking at the best cryptos you can buy under a buck. It's time to discover crypto. All right, everybody, the first token we're going to look at today is Cardano. It's a token near and dear to my heart. I haven't made that, you know, I haven't tried to hide that fact at all. And currently you can get Cardano for around 50 cents. And I'm going to tell you why I think it is very undervalued at 50 cents. If we look at CoinGecko, it is a top 10 cryptocurrency. It's coming in at number nine. And if you look at its market cap compared to these top coins, huge disparity. Bitcoin market cap is $825 billion. And then you look at the market cap of ETH, it is pushing 300 billion, but Cardano coming in at a paltry $17 billion. And the reason I think it is undervalued is the building on Cardano is very, very high. If you look here, this is from Santiment, and this is Crypto Top Coins by Development Activity. These are the developers who are building on the chain. And the number one chain that they've been working on for the last 30 days is Cardano. And you can see Polkadot number two, Ethereum, it is a top 10, but barely. Chainlink, top 10, but barely. ICP, same story. Cardano is leading the way with the most commits in the past 30 days. And if you look on this list, you'll see some other gems when you start looking at the market cap and you start comparing it to the other market caps. But those cryptos, you know, largely speaking, are more than a buck. All right, and let's look at some price predictions, everybody. All right, there's a pretty simple trend line that can give you a pretty simple price target. I don't know if how likely this is going to play out, but I think it's very likely that a lot of people are going to be looking at this trend line as we get closer to these levels. And if you just catch one top to the next top, you're going to see that's going to give us roughly around a $6, $7 Cardano where we expect a bull market top to occur, which is going to be around September, October 2025. I think we'll hit the top Q3, Q4, somewhere around in the middle of next year. Year. And so I have a price prediction, roughly $6 on a largely conservative side. I think $5 will feel like FUD. I think $6 largely conservative. I think Cardano could potentially flirt with breaking $10, but I would be looking to, you know, maybe take some profits as we get closer and closer to this trend line. So Cardano at 50 cents, looking at a $6 return, uh, you know, maybe within the next 18 months, I feel very, very bullish on Cardano. Now let's look at the next best coin that you can buy under a dollar. And it is also a top 20 project and it is Polygon. Polygon coming in ranked number 16. Many, many things get me excited about Polygon. I'm going to say the first thing, compared to a lot of L2s that have hit the ecosystem, Polygon's an L2 for Ethereum, meaning it is a layer two for Ethereum, trying to do things like batch some transactions. So you can transact on the EVM a little bit more cheaply, the Ethereum virtual machine. Well, most L2s do not have most of their tokens out, or if they do, it's you know barely above half. Polygon has 10 billion tokens and all 10 billion are out. So when you compare it to, you know, uh, potentially an Arbitrum, an Optimism, they have a lot more tokens yet to release. And so one of the best things about Polygon is the tokens are already out. If we look at the all-time price chart, you can see, you know, maybe some similar trend lines are going to be drawn with these tops. But when you click on market cap, you can see not much of a disparity. So we don't have to worry about uh, the tokenomics here. The number two reason I'm very bullish on Polygon is their partnerships. They have the best biz dev team in all of crypto. Let me say that one more time because I honestly think there's no one touching them. Polygon has the best dev team in the entire cryptocurrency space. If we look at their business partnerships, they form partnerships with Nike, Starbucks, Reddit, MasterCard, Adobe, Disney, Meta slash Facebook, Adidas, Mercedes, and Google Cloud. No one has a better partnership arm or a development arm versus Polygon. So very, very bullish on Polygon here. And as far as price goes for Polygon, I'm seeing some similar situations I saw with Cardano. I think a lot of people are going to be looking at this little trend line as they chart the tops. And then they're also going to look at the trend line for the uh, beginning stages of 2022 uh, into 2023 here. And if you look, look how these 
these kind of come to the same point. And not only that, these lines converge on what we are going to consider around the top October 2025. And what price does that give us? That gives us a $4 polygon, essentially. And with polygon at a current price of $0.75, cents, you're looking at fairly good returns here. A 5x in a year and a half is great returns, and people in traditional investing world would kill for a 5x in a year and a half. But I think polygon could do potentially even better. And the next coins we're going to mention, especially the fifth one, I think 5x is going to be just the beginning stages of liftoff. So I'd be looking to take some profit as we uh, bump against these trend lines. Now let's look at the third coin. In this coin, we got to go down closer to the top 50 area. This is ranked number 40, and we're talking about Caspa coming in at 10 cents. But when you look at the all-time price chart, you say, oh, that is pretty close to all-time highs, meaning are we close to a top? I will say that is not the case with Caspa. If you don't know what Caspa is, Caspa is a L1, meaning is competing with Ethereum, competing with Cardano, competing with Solana. But what's Caspa's special sauce here? Caspa is working on an upgrade that is going to make it very attractive to developers and I think the broader crypto ecosystem. Caspa just announced this. Caspa is turning to Rust in the near future for Testnet 11. And why is Rust making me, you know, feel bullish when it comes to Caspa? Well, the answer is pretty simple. The hottest ecosystem of the past three months, I would say, is probably Solana. And Rust is the most common programming language to write Solana programs with. So why would Casper turning to Rust make me feel bullish? Well, Solana is one of the most developed ecosystems in all of crypto, and Casper is now opening those doors to all the Solana developers to come in and build on their chain. And I expect some people to, you know, hey, I've been working on Solana for the last 12 months. I feel a little bit bored. It's time for me to make a change. I'm going to go to the hotter, newer best ecosystem and some people i think are going to choose caspa and so I, I expect a little bit of a dev migration to happen as caspa starts to develop more and more on rust but let's talk about priced well folks i gotta be honest here this release in the tail end of 22 so we just don't have that much data and not only that it's close to a breakout uh period but let me paint a little bit of a bullish scenario one we are down considerably from this top. I know this; these are weekly candles, and this is the, uh, the 13th of November, so that's around where we're looking at. Currently, folks, we are down 35%. So you're getting it you know, slightly on sale. I'm not saying it's not going to drop more. I'm just saying right now, it's certainly cheaper than if you were to buy at these levels. Now, I see a little bit of a bull flag pin at forming. I know it doesn't have the best structure on the bottom half here, but if you want to know, all right, well, where can these prices go? You take the length of the flag, and arguably maybe it's a little bit shorter, and then you put it to the breakout point. If it breaks out right here, well, folks, that's going to give us right around a 23, 25 cent Caspa. If you look at Caspa's price right now, 10 cents to 25 cents, that feels pretty good. Because, folks, we're not talking about, oh, this is September 2025. This could be a short-term breakout. So if, if the broader crypto market stays bullish, meaning Bitcoin doesn't take a dump, Caspa could potentially have a breakout in the 22 to 25 cent range. So I think Caspa, very, very strong narrative, plus with Rust. And it's a top 50 L1 ecosystem with a lot of room to the upside. And now for coin at number four, this one is mostly just a normie-friendly narrative with some good tech on the back end as well. And I'm talking about the graph. I'm going to tell you what the normie-friendly narrative is in a second, but let's just look at this price. I want to point out something slightly bearish. This coin launched, and it launched on the Coinbase app very, very quickly. And in this period, there weren't many coins to purchase on the app. We're talking about the first part of 2021. So when I click on market cap, this is going to shock you a little bit. Look at that. It looks very, very different. Now, you might ask yourself, well, why was it so high right here when the market cap was lower? That's because there weren't that many tokens. And so that's why we saw such a high price for the graph. I wrote that up, and it was one of my first big gains of this, uh, you know, the most past recent bull run here but market cap you know the, the, a lot of the multiples are going to be taken away we right around a 1.4 1.5 market cap and you see it was right around a six that's only a 4x but if you look at the price oh it's a lot more than a 4x you know it's close to a 15 20x so i i don't think uh the multiples are going to be as high as a lot of people think but the graph has the most normie friendly narrative in all of crypto. I, I know I said, all right, Polygon, the best dev team. This is the best catchphrase I've seen in crypto. The catchphrase for the graph 
The Google of blockchain, the Google of Web3, the graph. This is from Coindesk. Coin Bureau, largely, uh, you know, I would say the, the biggest crypto channel in all of YouTube. The graph review, the Google of blockchains. People love that narrative. And when you're, remember what it was like when you're new in crypto, you don't know anything. You don't know about 21 million. You don't know about XRP. You, you, just, you just don't know much about crypto. And so when you're a newer participant and you hear that phrase, Google of blockchain, Google of blockchain, I think a lot of retail is going to get excited off that narrative here. And it's not that's not the only reason I like it. You know I love Chainlink. I like to say the graph is kind of the Chainlink in reverse. Chainlink takes data off chain, puts it on chain. That could be, uh, you know, sports score, could be weather, could be, you know, a bunch of different things. Could be, uh, you know, ownership deed is an NFT for this land property. And if you sell that land, well, you got to change the name on the deed. Well, you would need Chainlink to take that new data that is off chain and put it on chain. Well, the graph does the opposite. It takes data that is on chain and takes it off chain. I know it's a little bit of oversimplification to say it's the reverse chain link, but normally people, oh, Google a blockchain is the reverse chain link. Okay, they're going to see those previous price swings. They don't know like you know, oh, well, market cap is a little bit separated from it. So you got to be a little bit more aggressive with the profit taking on this one. You can see uh, the graph decentralized protocol indexes and queries blockchain data. Again, taking the data on chain, packaging it up, wrapping it up, putting it in a nice bow. And then, you know, if uh, you're a Web3 enterprise solution, you would use this data. So they got a good business model. And now we're going to go into the most degen pick. I didn't, you know, we're sticking around top 50. Uh, the graph, you know, maybe maybe the graph's a little bit higher. Graph coming in 53. Okay, so, you know, these are relatively safe plays. I said the fifth one is going to be potentially the most lucrative. It is certainly the riskiest here. And I, you, some of you, you're getting excited now. The riskiest play, well, why didn't you lead with that one? Well, folks, we want to give you the safer plays first. This one's, uh, it's a little high. You're not going to see it in the top 10, top 50. In fact, you're not even going to see it in the top 100, top 200. It's barely in the top 500. This is around, uh, around 450. And this play is a polka dot play, and it's a Kala. We kind of covered this project in an earlier video. The reason I want to talk about this is I just did a deep, deep, deep dive in the polka dot ecosystem. I mean, I, I was diving in head first. I'm downloading all the different dApps. I'm exploring all the different parachains. I'm looking at different wallets. I'm looking at different DEXs. I'm looking at different staking solutions. I'm looking at different bridges. I, I, I was bleeding polka dot out of my ears by the time I was done. And there was one dApp that I thought was the easiest to interact with and just the, the friendliest user experience. And that was Akala, folks. And, I, you know, you look at Akala, it has some fairly, you know, I would say fairly favorable metrics looking at it. One, roughly about two thirds of the coins are out. And so for a new, newer coin, two, two thirds, two thirds is pretty good. When we look at the all time price chart, you'll notice every Polkadot ecosystem altcoin kind of looks like this chart. It started out January 22, pretty much all of them kind of launched around there, January 22. And then that was honestly, that was about the worst time you could launch a token. The worst time would be November 21. January 22 is about the, the second or third worst month there. Maybe December's a little bit worse here because that's when Bitcoin started its crash. That was the beginning of the bear market. And so if you were to launch at the peak of a market, well, all of a sudden, all the money's leaving the ecosystem. It just wasn't a great time. And like most coins in the Polkadot ecosystem, the three-month chart Oh man, it looks like there's you know tons of gains to be had here. Oh whoa, what was that spike? That was the polka dot spike that it had a huge pump. And this line's a little bit more vertical versus other polka dot ecosystem plays. So I think if polka dot has a bullish narrative, Akala is going to be primed to overperform relative to its peers in the ecosystem here, the polka dot ecosystem. Let me get you a little bit more bullish as well, folks. I, I checked out their X account, their Twitter here. They're they're pretty uh, actively communicating with the people. In fact, they did a test stream just today. Uh, you know, they got the yellow check mark. I would say that's pretty good, followed by a quarter million people. I would also say that's pretty good. And their test stream, they're just testing out all the new features. So they're building out, doing a lot of different things here. Leverage staking has arrived. It is a parachain on the Polkadot ecosystem. So it's going to be competing with other parachains. And I'm seeing more and more Polkadot ecosystem plays add their chain. Like I think Starlay just uh, added theirs. This is just yesterday. 
Uh, we also had, uh, yeah, Starley. They, there they are posting that right there. They're posting some stats right here. If you want to learn more about it, they just did this 30-minute stream uh, right here. I think it was at least 30 minutes, right? It might have even been longer than that. And, you know, they go over uh, everything that they're building, explaining all the cool features and products live on Akala. So if you want to learn more about it, you know, check out that information session that just posted today. I'm pretty bullish on it. Now let's look at the price. Like I said, a lot of tokens kind of look like this. I I feel like a lot of these Polkadot ecosystem plays are going to hit these January 22 levels. And let's just say, you know, if we were to hit uh, even kind of close, folks, we're looking at some considerable gains. It might not be the exact area, but uh, yeah, <laughs> you're looking at a 3,000% pump if we can hit some of these previous levels. I'm not saying, oh, it's, it's an easy 30x. It's got a lot of headwinds. But I'm pretty bullish on the Polkadot ecosystem, and I think more and more people try it out, more and more people are going to like Akala. So these are the five best tokens I feel that you can buy under a dollar. You got that uncle, you got that coworker. Say, well, Bitcoin's too expensive. Tell me the best coin that's cheap. Send them this video. Make sure you share this video. Uh, hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. We're putting out crypto content every single day for you. So let's go ahead. Let's all uh, invest in this together so we can all change our lives together. And folks, I'm DZ. We'll see you and all your coins that you bought under a dollar at the top.